Hi everyone, this video is kicking off a new video series where I show you how to build the backend for an application, starting with the very basics and gradually building up to more advanced uh, topics. So as you follow along in this video series, it's designed to take you from a complete beginner to more of an expert in advanced level. So let's get started. And for the entirety of these videos, I'll be using a mall directory app that I'll be building out um, in each video. So I'll show you how to set this up. Here I am on the Xano Wizard, which is called Jumpstart. And I'll just click this blue button right here to get started. And here we create our workspace. And I think of my workspace as being synonymous with my app, but it's essentially just a virtual container where your project is gonna sit. So I'll go ahead and name mine. Uh, mall directory app and just call it a uh, mall directory in the description. I'll go ahead and hit continue. And here you have the option of actually hiring Xano down here on the bottom to help build your backend. Um, but for the tutorial, I'm showing you how to do this yourself. So I'll click that top button. And here we set up uh, both our database and API. So first with the database, um, if you've never worked with one before, you can understand that that's just where your content and your data is going to sit. I like to think of it like a filing cabinet, and within that filing cabinet are different folders, and those folders um, organize all your data, which is what your database tables are. So here we set up our tables. Xano gives me this user table because the vast majority of time, applications are gonna need a user table. If yours doesn't need one, you can just delete that. Uh, for this example, my mall directory app, I'm gonna have a user table and also a stores table for now. And we can always add more later, so don't worry if you're not sure here. Additionally, here we're setting up our API. And if you haven't worked with your API before, going back to this filing cabinet example, you can think of um, the API like the office clerk. And so you tell the office clerk you need some information. So the office clerk uh, figures out what information that is, goes to the filing cabinet, goes into the database tables and gives you back that information. So that's what the API is doing. It's essentially communicating between your front end um, and your back end and bringing data from your database table to your front end in a readable way. So Xano sets up these basic uh, CRUD API endpoints and we'll go ahead and talk more about these later, but if you don't know how to do this, this can take a lot of time and a lot of head scratching. So I'm gonna leave this checked. And the last step of the wizard is Xano's asking us how our users will log in. And it's asking us which table contains your users. Intuitively, it sees we have a user table, but you're free to use the drop down menu and click whatever you want. I'm going to use the user table. And now we can uh, select how our users are going to sign in and log in. So one option is email. We can also do both email and allow your users to sign in and log in with their Google accounts or either or. And we'll be adding more features like Facebook, GitHub, um, and other providers here shortly. For this example, I'm gonna leave it as email and I'll hit finish and see you in the dashboard. Okay, so now that we finished the jumpstart wizard, we find ourselves in the Xano dashboard, which is gonna be our home base for our workspace and our project. So first I wanna point out on the left side, uh, there is this navigation bar that allows you to jump to the different pages of Xano. Don't worry, we'll be going into all these. But also there are these links to these resources at the top of the dashboard where you can find information if you get stuck, you wanna learn more about a certain topic or you just wanna ask for help. And now I just wanna scroll down here in the dashboard and draw your attention to this get started in five minutes. So if we follow these steps, we can have a Xano da uh, backend ready to go and ready to plug into a front end uh, pretty much instantly. So the first is to add content to the database and I'll run you through this. Uh, the second is to customize how the data gets sent uh, through the API, and that's actually an optional step because we enabled Xano to automatically generate those CRUD API endpoints during the Jumpstart wizard. So those are actually ready to use and ready to plug into the front end uh, without us doing any configuration. So the first step, let's add content to the database. I'll go ahead and click on that, and I'll be in the database page. And the first thing we notice on this page is that there are those two tables that I set up during the Jumpstart wizard. Well, first is that user table, which Xano actually gave us. And here's the stores table that I entered in. So that's where the data of my stores are going to sit. Additionally, I said we can add tables now that we're in Xano. So there's this button at the top right. 
Once I click on that, we can create a new table and Xana will give us those basic CRUD endpoints uh, once again if we would like. So I'm gonna go ahead and click into the user table. And when I do, we can see that there are these different columns or fields that Xano automatically populated. That's because we selected for our users to sign in and log in with their email. So I have a name for my user, an email, and password. So let's go ahead. I'll create myself as a new user. So I can just click on this bar right here to create a new record or row. And then I can click into this field type and I can write in my name, Michael. I'll give myself an email address and a password. Uh, we'll just say password123. Don't worry, that's not my real password. Okay, so now that I have uh, myself as a user, I'm gonna go back and let's click into the stores table. And in the stores table, uh, we can see that there's no field types yet. So in order to do that, we can go ahead and click on this black plus button to add new fields or uh, columns, if you will. And this window will open up with all these different options for field types and they have little descriptors underneath each of them. And Xano does a great job of showing you the common most four right here. And if you want more information on any of these, uh, we go into more detail in our documentation, but I'm sure I'll be using uh, some more of these in future videos with this exercise. For now, I'm going to click on this text field, and then I'm gonna type in name, because I wanna know the name of my stores. I'm gonna hit this plus button again in the text field one more time. And then I'm going to do a description uh, for my stores. And I'm going to add one more field for now. I'm going to uh, click this plus button, do text one more time, and we'll say I want a location because after all, this is a shopping mall directory. So in the same way I did in the user table, I can add a new record here. So let's say the first store in my mall is an Apple store, and it is an electronic store, and the location will be uh, floor one, maybe unit A. Okay, let's add a few more so we have more data to play around with. Um, I'll go ahead and click a new record again. Let's say there is a Starbucks and this will be categorized in the food section. And then location will be maybe floor two and unit B. And let's do one more uh, record for now. So I'll click new again and we'll say that there is a, a Nordstrom and we'll call it a department store. And maybe we'll say it's D1, and D may, might just stand for department in my mall. Okay, so now that we have uh, data entered into our database tables, I want to take us back to our dashboard. So I'll click over here. And just reviewing these get started in five minute steps. So we added content to our database, and then we can customize how that data gets sent through the API, which is optional because we have those endpoints already set up. And now we're technically ready to connect to a front end if we don't want to customize uh, those APIs. So if this is in fact your very first time uh, building an app or web application and you're completely new to uh, this development and working with backends, then I actually do recommend you stop here, uh, plug Xano into your front end and explore all you can already do um, with those ready to go CRUD endpoints. And, and see if you need to expand your capabilities. And if so, you know, come back to Xano, watch these videos, uh, build your knowledge and your foundation, and start adding those piece by piece into your application as you see needed. Um, I will do a video, of course, to show you how to connect this to a front end. In addition to uh, the next video too is going to be showing you those CRUD API endpoints that we already generated just right here in Xano.